five points was the margin at half time. 25 points remains at the margin at three quarter time. It's the Bombers by just a touch over four goals. They were threatened. They responded in the best possible manner late in the third quarter once again. The goal kickers up until three quarter time. Well, for Essendon, Damien Cupido has been a star with five, and Matthew Lloyd four, and Alan Didak a couple for the Magpies. Mick Moldhouse laying down the law Mark here. McGough. Young Mark McGough. What a uh, 12 months ago seems such a long time away now for Mark McGough. He hasn't been terrible, but this time last year he was outstanding. He won the Anzac medal, a game which Collingwood won by 33 points. It was only his second senior AFL game. Best on ground on his 24 touches and six marks not quite falling as nicely for him this afternoon do no no he's playing on the half forward flank pushing to the wing and his opponent when you saw Essendon were very dangerous when they ran forward he's not put pressure on his opponent when Essendon have the ball forward of the center it's a pretty simple game really and he's not adhering to that at the moment but he, he hasn't been the worst of them out there he's had plenty of the ball but he needs plenty of the ball because he he gives it away a little bit by foot. Yeah, he does. He hasn't quite got the penetration that some of his teammates have. Nate, like Nathan Buckley, if you ever want to get a game or, or a videotape of a game to show a youngster on how to deal with a tagger, get this one because Nathan Buckley has played with, Pebble. with Damien Peverell in the uh, general vicinity, but he's absolutely blitzed him. Let's go down to ground level with Anthony Mithen. Thanks very much, Gary. Interesting to see how the players run it out. It's been a very intense game down here at ground level. Kevin Sheedy, interestingly, grabbed the young kids. A bit about the occasion, obviously, about some run in the, in the fresh legs of Richards, McPhee, Bannister and Harvey. Spoke to them as a group before he addressed the main Essendon group. Just obviously calling on them for one last effort in this final quarter and just to soak up the occasion, no doubt about that. And, Doc, any injury news? In uh, important, yeah. the fresh legs, isn't it? Yeah, it's so important, the intensity of this game, and both both uh, teams have got four fit players on the bench, so it's really important on an intense game like this and no injuries on either side, so we'll see who runs it out best. Good on you, boys. Doc Larkins and Anthony Mithen down there. Let's have a look at some statistics going forward. And the big one out of all this, term is, in, is the marks inside 50. This was a perceived strength of Collingwood with yep. Rocker, Tarrant, and also Malloy down there. But they've been blitzed today. And on the other hand, they've had dangerous forwards, Essendon in Cupido, in Lloyd. 16 between those two. 16 marks between Cupido and Lloyd. But look, Jacobs, Lucas, and Bolton have been brilliant in their own back half of the Bombers. 25 points the margin. 30 minutes remaining, and we expect they'll play it like there's no tomorrow. Alessio rolls it towards half forward. Lloyd on hands and knees to Barnard. Ball trickles inside 50 to Hurd. Don't tell me! Don't tell me! He kicks that. Unbelievable! Line. He's got three. He kicks that. He put his nose over the ball, which is the most dangerous place to do in a pack for your own safety because you can't see what's going on around you. You have to rely on the trust of your teammates and he kicks that before he actually comes upright. You watch him, he just hunches over it. He's such, I mean, people talk about how brave he is. This is a pure example here. Look, down, and he's kicked that before he straightened up. He's a star, Doom. He's an absolute star. Every time they've been threatened, I reckon he's the one that's just said, rightio, that's enough, let's get back on track. The time Scott Burns took that mark, he hadn't moved. You stood there in the pool found its way back to him you would have to be excited if you're leading from full forward you look up and you see james heard with space and the sheriff well, he's kicked four for the afternoon it's been some time since he's got a bag of six or seven over Can 12 months on? over 12 months since he's kicked more than six yeah. you can see the probability and the angle he has four is that the beginning of the end? He's got five. That last forward thrust by Collingwood, just sitting back and watching the blur of jumpers <laughs> moving forward. Collingwood aren't working as hard as they were up to the first couple of rounds of this year, including their uh, pre-season Wizard Cup campaign. They ran so hard forward, and then they rebounded so hard backwards. They just sauntered forward and hoped that the three key forwards we spoke of would do the job for them. And the Bombers have kicked the last five goals in this match. 
17-7 to 11-6. Remarkable. McKee hooks it down. Buckley in real trouble. Jason Johnson advances the ball inside the attacking 50. The run seems to have gone from Collingwood. Deep in the pocket. Lloyd comes up. Full chested. Aided by a good shepherd. Plenty of time. Rioli's marked. And it's paid. Rioli. Only about 40 metres out directly in front. Distance won't be a problem. The signs are excellent for Essen and good composure for Matthew Lloyd. He's had a super game, Lloyd. Last good year, on Michael. Last year. game but Collingwood oh, are starting this end. two to Riola listen and are already three goals above their season average so that would speak a few volu volumes on uh, just how well they're going forward at the centre they got, delivery. they got two forwards that have kicked five. They got Heard with three, Rioli with two, and on the other side of the ledger, only Dodak and Malloy are multiple goal scorers. Two each. Out to a 43 point margin. Biggest lead of the game so far. Essendon have cracked the Maggies open. Buckley. High, inside 50. Tarrant down there, been beaten by Jacobs today. Malloy, caught by Walsh. Another good performer. Gets up, gives the handle to Burns from 45. Drop punt, heads, goal it on the line. Marked by Jacobs. One thing I've noticed about Jacobs in that last contest, he's as comfortable spoiling in a market situation with his left arm as he is with his right. Now, most defenders only go with predominantly the whatever better coordinated hand they've got. Hill to Mercedes. Short, awkward half volley for Reynolds. Folded pretty well. Masidi, probably not the man. Won't make him down. O'Brien hurriedly. Too hurriedly out of bounds on the four. Essendon looking terrific. They've met every challenge this afternoon. McVeigh had a good match to midfield. Rioli alongside the centre circle. There's Lloyd. He goes in short towards half forward. Clement did well, got a fist on it, knocked it back towards the wing. Why Woden under pressure? Locken, high ball to half forward. Fraser went back. McVeigh over the top. Fraser tries to crash a tackle. Freeborn trying to fend off. Gets a hand pass away. Didac with the right boot, bending it back. Hit the post halfway out. Nothing will fall into place. Josh Fraser's been under the pump a bit. Uh, his attack on the footy, I think, has been pretty good today. He hasn't been his worst game by a long stretch. In fact, it's probably been his best for the season. He's just got to keep working hard at it. If he works hard, it'll come for him. Lucas Torrioli, Alan Didak. They've kicked eight goals in the four games so far coming into this match and has kicked two this afternoon to keep the average up at least. Mark Johnson to Welsh. Spearing ball from him, Reynolds. Has some composure, scoreboard, easing the pressure on the Essendon players now. High inside, 50. Ball thump, clear, but to Cupido. Danger, caught by Loney. No chance. Umpire said no chance. He will bounce it. Didn't need to really take a hold of the ball there, Cupido. Loney applied the tackle before he ever secured it. He could have drawn a free kick. Alessio to do the ruck work against McKee. Inside, 50. Ball thump, clear, but to Mercedes, bumped, gives it to James Hurd, screws it around the body, oh, he's on. There is none better. He's got four. Who, who was riding the man off Hurd? You wouldn't dare, would you? You would not be so foolish as to suggest he's gone. You have a look at today's performance. He's just a star. Do you count that as a disposal to Joe Mercedes? You give it to Joe because he <laughs> needs him at the moment. And he's worked back into it pretty well. Collingwood have been setting up in this final quarter with at least seven backmen. 
and Essendon continue to man them up on every occasion. Unbelievable, James. So you think back to round seven, that fateful day at Subi last year against the Fremantle Dockers, and here he is, a year on, dominating on Anzac Day. Lecuria out of the middle, inside the 50, Tarrant from the side. Well done again. Welsh combining there with Bolton. McVeigh on the run. They're everywhere. They're jumping out of their skin, these bombers. Jason Johnson runs to the 50, draws a man, goes to Solomon. Well, he's playing on the wing, Solomon, and that's the near side wing. So he's run. I mean, he's just playing like a, mid, uh, a non baller now, Solomon. Watch him split the traffic here. That's good hard running. It's what you do, Derm, when your side are all over the top of another mob. You grind them in and you go, right, I want to get in on the act here. They've got the last seven goals. Misses this time, Solomon. Just sliding it across the face. He didn't play a game last season. He's averaging 19 possessions a game this season. That's way up from 14 in 2001. Loney short to Buckley. Gives back the 1-2. Straight down the corridor. To the sunny side, wide. Mark to Freeborn, half back flank, chips it over the top. Tarrant. Over the top for him, the runner is Lecuria. Has some space, thinks about a pass, now goes to the top of the square. Cloak's got three to beat. High tackle, High tackle on Lucas. And nothing going right. Gee, they work well back there. They work really well. Uh, Lucas was done on that occasion by Rocker, but Bolton just peeled off his man, took Rocker, Lucas went back onto his man, Cloak. And there goes Bolton, long to Solomon. Oh. Has some space, uses it, kicks inside, 50, Lloyd over the top. Good punch by Wakeland, just got fingers on ball and dragged it out of play. Possession this quarter, Essendon dominant yet again. That was wonderful by Wakeland, I do that, things pop. <laughs> Got his fingertips to it. Just another day. Boundary throw in. 122 to 73. It seems it's over. Behind the pack. Can he do it again, James Hurd? I think he may have. That's the best one. He's kicked five. How's that for an encore? That's the best of them. That was an, an extreme goal. Well, he won the 2000, year 2000 Anzac medal here on Anzac Day. So. And, well, Buckley would be his competition. But I tell you what, it's going to come from one of the captains, that's for sure. Start engraving. Yeah. And that man looks to have had the medal. For the last 10 minutes, that, I think, sealed it. Ball up in the middle. Free kick, high tackle, Burns. Think about James Hurd. He hasn't been a big goal scorer in recent times. He kicked, uh, I think, 11 from 16 games last year, and he only had two from four coming into this match. Burns long, big leap, rocker. Can't bring ball down. Pack forms around. And we'll get a bounce. James Hurd on screen. Goes back to Fremantle next week, in actual fact. Mm. The scene of that horrific injury, so he goes back with some confidence. Top five mark getters for the game. Chris Tarrant, who leads the league, isn't on there today. Hill tried to take it. Tarrant also, but neither got it. In the end, nice handball up from Masidi to That's Solomon. Easy. Rioli, Johnson at the back, dumps it down, falls. Rioli's got him. He's got the ball and him. Still in dispute. And the umpire says mine. He'll bounce it just outside 50. Jupiter tied the ball in. The attendance 62,589. Yeah, Certainly looks more. Yeah. Hill had it, lost it. Kicks it out of there. Rioli taken down. Curia got him. Well, what can he do? Michael Malthas, if he's got a list, is probably down to crank calls now. James Hurd's coming off the ground. Well, that shows you Kevin Sheedy reckons this game's in the bag. And Mick Malthouse knows he can't get back from here. He's put on some players who just need some cosmetics with their uh, statistic sheet. Well, Sheedy's kick marked by Loney. Virtuoso performance by James Hurd. 27 sessions. 
Here's Buckley. Very unkind. Buckley, long kick to half forward. Tarrant, what a well-weighted kick it was. Perfect. Playing for consolation prizes now. The Collingwood forwards hoping for a late goal alongside their name, Fraser. Tucked into the pocket, difficult kick. From just inside 50, heads goal with the drop punt across the face. Hits the behind post, will get a ball in. A fair belting at the moment. Oh, it's yeah. a 54-point 54 or 54 point, 55 point belting right now, and there's still 10 minutes to play, so it could get ugly for Collingwood. Hit the behind post on the full, so free to Lucas, got it to Masidi. Last time they met was round 20 last year, and the Bombers won that also by 55 points. Ball wide, Jason Johnson, half-back flank. Along the southern stand wing, high ball, high fly, back of the pack. Good slap down by Reynolds to McVeigh, caught in the tackle. Ball comes back up. Chance here for Peveril to get it inside, 50 off hands. Lloyd just overran it. Rioli runs in. The runner coming straight off. Good to see, Barnsley. Yeah. It is a comprehensive building. He is a class act, Dean Rioli, too. They've, uh, gee, they look dangerous every time they went forward. And had a fair run at this, Dean Rioli. Made sure of it. Six and paces. <laughs> Good on him. If you play for Essendon and you're tired, I think the message is kick the next goal. <laughs> Heard off. Rioli now off. Jason Johnson taken down by O'Brien. Peveril, O'Brien kicks towards half foot. It was touched. Davis in trouble. Buckley got the arms free, trying to get free. What we call a brief tackle. It comes across towards Didac. Long down towards full forward. Missed down there by Tarrant. Goes after it again. Looks back towards the middle. They stay off him. How's that? That's how to play him. Eventually, Freeborn's got it. Tried to be too deft. Ricochets oh, across the burn, smothered off the boot. Confidence, a remarkable thing. Tarrant goes to Freeborn. They continue to battle. Lecuria with the right boot kicks a goal. In, that worked hard. Yeah, in the end, it was just trying to find the right foot place in and an avenue to goal. But that is the way to play, Chris Tarrant. You charge him, you'll sidestep. You. He's so evasive and so quick. And Danny Jacobs summed it up pretty quick. Did not charge him, just looks made like, him dish off. Looks like he's done a lot of homework, I reckon, Danny Jacobs. Yeah. I hope we get to talk to him may, maybe after the game. Essen's biggest win since round eight last season when they beat the Saints by 99 points. The Maggies' biggest loss last year was 58 to the West Coast in round 17. So they're staring down the barrel right now. Essendon had kicked nine in a row. That's Collingwood's first goal of the final term. And again, it's the Bombers with the takeaway. Ben Johnson, half held by Bannister. Made him earn it. Ball in the pack. Will it come out eventually? Buckley. Just tunnels it to Burns. Now Clement from the half-back flank. No options, really. Just goes wide, hoping. And in the end, it was hope against hope. Jacobs. Gee. Chip kick wide for him. It'll be hard to give votes. You've got Jacobs for his job on Tarrant. You've got Lucas for his job on Rocker. And then you've got a few blokes up the other end that kick goals and a couple of blokes in the middle that got plenty of it. Bannister from the outer side. Inside 50. Richards ball felt away from him by Clement. Close to the boundary line. You would think the Ruckman would be content to see it out. They are. Alessio and McKeon. Kevin Shitty. He will go home and watch this game, no doubt, as he always does. And when he's finished watching it, you would think the video would go on the top shelf. Masterful. I'm quick to say that. Does he watch them all? O'Brien gets it across to Johnson. who goes with the outside of the boot up towards the wing. Great mark. He's been very impressive, Welsh. Yeah, the other one, perhaps, I oh, didn't mention it and should have. Welsh has been wonderful. Right from the word go on Malloy. Peveril inside the centre square. Goes down towards half forward from behind Davis. Loose ball, runs at the back. Clement wants the boundary line. Wanting the footy, McVeigh. It's jarred out. It'll be tossed in. Speaking of Kevin Sheedy, he coached his first game against Collingwood, round eight. 
1981. The Bombers won by 57 points at Waverley. Well, Waverley is no longer, but the margin at the moment is 55 points. Boundary throw in outside the attacking 50. Alessio backhands it down. Burns did well in a tight situation. Johnson not so well. Barnard stifled it. Burns in trouble. Lecuria at half back to Davis. Over the top into the path of a tired Johnson. Can he get through? No, he can't. Welsh took him down, holding the ball, advantage paid. Bolton goes short. Solomon can run to the 50. He can line up. Well, he better get it back first. He runs to the 50, lines up now, kicks it. Goal looks pretty good. I think he's kicked it. His second. Always tended to think, Gary, that if you get 22 goals up against your defence, that means you've got some flaws down back. Now, Collingwood's defence, they were miserly last year, but today they've been exploited. I think you just, well, I think you just put it down to one of those very, very ordinary days. I think they're better than that, Collingwood. 22 goal afternoon for Essendon, and it's still not over. Bounce to restart play. Fraser in the ruck now for Collingwood Buckley, who hasn't stopped trying. To Woden, high kick, Burns waits and waits, and it came down eventually. Twelve and a half goals a game they averaged last year. The Bombers, so 22 is a pretty fair return. He was hoping for Loney, but Hill, and it's been uphill all afternoon for Collingwood. Jason Johnson from half back, tired team now. Collingwood, long torpedo towards half forward. Race on, Richards can't get there in time with delivery, and we'll <laughs> you'll get a ball in just outside attacking 50. Been a beautiful afternoon for football. The entire ground now virtually covered in shade, but not one Essendon fan has left this arena. Burns over the ball with Masidi, who will enjoy celebrating his 200th game this afternoon. Joe Masidi. Had 30 possessions right against out. Collingwood last time these two teams met and has played a role again, if not a dominant one, this afternoon. There's the top five inside 50s. Alessio hooks it down towards the middle. Lecuria to Buckley. 36th possession, if you don't mind. While Woden running through the middle needs to kick it. Does. Down. down towards half forward. Juggled attempt at the mark there. No good for Rocker. Coming through was Woe Woden in the road. Mark Johnson. Now McVeigh. Well done, great poise. Mark Johnson runs on from the wing, kicks inside the 50. Cupido, one-handed. Johnson behind, taken down there by Harvey. Socket forward by Richards. McKee, reasonably tired, just dropped the football there. Lucas, McKee comes again, ties him up. And we'll have a ball up. Full credit to Essendon. The Bombers have been fantastic. Anthony Rocker has had a nightmare of a day. He has had no impact on this game whatsoever. Five possessions, two marks. Rucks go at it. Alessio with the back of the hand. Almost in slow motion now. Johnson hand passes to an opponent there. Masidi burns at close quarters. Clement touched off the boot. Knocked on by Fraser. Freeborn deftly. Now Lecuria around the outer side. Running it up towards the wing. Goes to Burns who's tried hard in this final term to Fraser. Fraser from the wing, goes down towards half forward. Jacobs, what a wonderful game he's played. And just singing the praises of the Bombers, maybe, just maybe, Brisbane can take some of the credit for this as the ball comes out towards the wing and Bannister's got it. Back in the corridor. High kick towards half forward over the head. Race on. Shane Wakeland who's tried hard. Toe pokes it toward the boundary. Harvey keeps it alive. Wakeland does well to Ben Johnson. In the last skerrick of sunshine to Freeborn. Through the wing. They are tired men at the moment. Now Lecuria. Chips the pass. Looking for and finding Tarrant. Just slipping Jacobs for a moment. Significant that the ball had to go over Jacobs' head still for Tarrant to mark it. That has been the way he's opted to play Chris Tarrant. He hasn't, hasn't stopped trying. I mean, kept presenting all day, but just hasn't had quite the impact that he has in the first four games of this season. 
has struggled for goals against Essendon. Didn't trouble the scorers the last two times, and yet today, from 50, brings it around too far. Dumped through for a behind. But it has been a comprehensive victory to the Bombers after this game was in the balance up until just into this final term. And that man, James Hurd, had a big role in just single-handedly grabbing it from Collingwood's grasp. Jacobs, Hurd has been sitting down a while. It brings into question medals, two of them. As Johnson kicks around the outer side, stretching. Reynolds hit the ground running, it's inside the 50. Going back, Cupido, loose ball, Lloyd out of midair. He's got six. And knowing Matthew Lloyd, I reckon he'd be fully aware that six has been the upper limit for a, well for quite some time. So I reckon he'd love seven, although <laughs> his mindset seems to have changed somewhat. Or oh, he's embraced the whole work ethic of forward line play. And from centre half forward for most of the afternoon too. And, and last week I think he got five from centre half forward against the, the Bulldogs. So he may prove to be a more valuable player as a floating forward, but he's had a wonderful afternoon again. Six goals. This is a spanking, Dermot. Just Thanks. a couple of minutes away from a big bomber celebration. Ball up O'Bree. Thought he had the takeaway, but it ricocheted off him and Suddenly is at the half forward line for the Bombers again. Buckley oh. has not given up at all and gets the free kick for too high. Possession 37 coming up. His career high against the Bombers, 38, round 20 of 99. <laughs> There's Buckley at half back then. Across the ground. Lecuria running. Essendon really don't care. Lecuria on the wing towards the attacking 50. Lucas. Couldn't trap it. He's done a very good job, Lucas, back there as well. Mark Johnson, that defence has been wonderful. Lucas chips it up towards the wing. Clement came across on the angle and thumped it out of bounds. James Clement, and that is debut against the Bombers back in round 11 of 96 for Fremantle. Fremantle lost by a point that day. The margin considerably more this afternoon. Razor was up. Charging through Reynolds. He's got better as the game's worn on. He runs to 50. He can smell a goal. Goes with the left boot. How will it bounce? The wrong side of the major opening. Still barely a bomber fan has moved. Bathing in the glory of this victory. Maybe they're back. Collingwood was certainly, in most people's eyes, at big charts last year after winning this Anzac Day match. And letting everybody know they have got a good lineup. Well, maybe this lets everyone know that the Bombers are back. Woe Woden. Eating up seconds, but they're not precious. The cross girl to Clement. From the back pocket, he goes wide towards Tarrant, who flies. Can't mark. Shane Wakeland to Ben Johnson. Runs the wing. Thinks about a bounce. Goes long with a kick. Looking for Fraser, perhaps. If he can get there, oh. just inside the boundary, big hip and shoulder laid by Rocker behind play. And we'll get a ball in. Let it go, let it go, Mark! Fair bump. Mark. You heard it from the umpire. And they have been in control this afternoon, McBurney, James and Allen. Rocker and Hill to do the ruck work. Just outside, Collingwood's attacking 50. Leon oh. Davis, that tells the story of his day. Rocker, big pack over it. No one can get it out. No one really wants to. And we'll get a ball up inside attacking 50. He's just got the magpies. He just has to. Whistle's gone. Oh, he just has to go back to Williamstown next week. Now, Leon Davis. He hasn't touched the ball literally for three weeks. He's just got to go back there and get some clean hands because he's just fumbling at everything. He's got a lot of talent, but you can't use it unless you don't unless you got the ball. We He's not winning it. We just lost our perfect record, too. We yep. did. We're going all right. <laughs> it's a dangerous <laughs> practice, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's Anzac, though. Oh, we'll have a ball out on 50. Dying seconds of this one. It's been over for some time, and the celebrations have begun in that room. So here's the bounce. Wait for the siren. Wait for the ball. Essendon are back in business. Lecuria's kick on the siren. 
It's a behind. But a massive victory to Essendon. Who broke their heart late in the third term. And then iced it early in the last. And what a hero, James Hurd. Just making the point, he was off the ground. You'd still like him to win the Anzac medal and I guess get the three Brownlow points. It becomes something of an interesting, debatable topic as we go down to Anthony Mifford with James, that man. James Hurd, yes, you enjoyed that one, James. Yeah, no, was a, look, we've been on the pump, um, people have written us off and it's just great. We love Anzac Day and it's great to win. You were pretty emotional too, kicking a few of those goals at Shielded. Yeah, look, uh, it's just a big game, you know, it's been a while since we've won one of these and... Uh, just we'll savour it and it's um, been a good win. It's a good for you personally too because you have had your 30th birthday and some people want to say that's enough for you. Yeah, look, hopefully there's a couple of good games left and I'll uh, see how it goes. It was a terrific team effort though, wasn't it? There was hardly a spot lost on the ground for the Bombers' point of view. Yeah, look, the boys are great from Lloydie right the way back to Danny Jacobs. Everyone put in and you know, this can hopefully kickstart our season. I reckon they might have a medal for you. So we'll let you go. We'll see what happens. Good on you, Jimmy. Thanks, mate. Good on you. Anthony Mithen preempting down there. He might be a fair bit, although that man would put up a fair argument or a fair case for Nathan Buckley as well. He had a superb afternoon. I guess the difference between the two may have been the fact that he went forward and kicked five goals, but he had some mates, and Essendon were very, very impressive today, Dermot. Therein lies a problem for Collingwood. You mentioned votes before. There are so how do you toss up between the Essendon players who you go for? It's very difficult. Yeah. One solitary Collingwood player has got his hand up saying, I have my right to be included in the... Uh, the final uh, yeah. wash up of vote getters. No, you're absolutely right. And look, one winner. James Hurd is, uh, I know James reasonably well, and he's not an overly demonstrative person, but he got excited today, and with very good reason, because there were a few question marks around about the Bombers and whether or not they had some players to step up, but gee, today you love their back half. He looks so settled. You love seeing Damien, Damien Cupido down there on that forward line. I thought he was wonderful in the first half when the game was at its tightest. And the younger blokes that came on, particularly Andrew Welsh, um, I mentioned Cupido, also Jacob, so they're in pretty good shape.